Let me explain what I'm doing here. I'm just kidding. You know exactly what I'm doing. Moments ago, my dad walked in. He gave me a life lesson and told me he loved me. But then as he left, he left the lights on, man. I'm left with three options. Option A, get out of bed and get my ankles grabbed by the gremlins. Worst option ever makes no sense. Option B, slither off the side of the bed while staying as covered as possible because that's way easier than actually getting out of the bed as long as I stay touching the bed. Or option C, try to use the force one more time. If there's one thing I learned in school, it's that option C is more likely to be the right answer. And I don't know about you, but as a kid, I distinctly remember like at least three moments where I thought it was gonna happen, man. This time it's gonna happen. I know it's real. And it never happened. I thought I could actually flip the switch with my brain. I genuinely believed that with just my thoughts, I would move the light switch and not have to get out of bed and get my ankle grabbed. What a dummy, right? Maybe not. What if all along it was possible to flip the switch with just my thoughts? What if this time it actually worked? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but let's try and look at how the force actually works. Rounds us, and penetrates us, it binds. To me, it looks like either an intense focus or like full relaxation of the mind that causes force waves to happen or something, and then that interacts with the environment. So I just need my thoughts and the state of my brain to interact with things in the environment the way that I choose. Like what if right now I could turn the lights off or shut the door with my thoughts? Or raise this flexi spot desk while sitting in a flexi spot chair entirely with my thoughts? I'm having a baby any day now. That's the sponsor. <laughs> So first I need a way to read my mind. So that seems like a hard one, but actually your brain cells right now as you're watching this video are processing all of this information with tiny little electrical pulses and they give off waves, brain waves. And those waves are measurable and act differently depending on what you're thinking about. High frequency beta waves are associated with active thinking or concentration, while lower frequency alpha and delta waves are associated with like a zen state of relaxation. So I just need a way to interface with those brain waves. Brain computer interface. This is the OpenBCI 3D printable headset that has these little electrodes that listen to your brain waves through brain signal processing called electro electroencephalography. First try, promise. Uh -huh. I'm having a baby soon. So theoretically, I can make my brain give off a specific signal when I want to flip the light switch. My brain waves. Now let's see if thinking about different things I can modify it. And then have those electrical pulses control other electrical pulses that are much larger from my computer. That's literally you guys looking at my brain right now. I feel violated. My private brain. Stop it. To flip the switch like a tiny little electrical lever. Pull the lever. Wrong lever! Since I now had a way for my brain waves to interface with my computer, I just needed a way for my computer to talk to the light switch. Ah! I was gonna use this dongle to use IR signals. Dongle! IR blaster. To interface with the light switch. Like turning my brain waves into infrared signals that can then interface with things in the world. But IR signals don't go through walls. And more importantly, that's the light switch. It's literally just a plain light switch. So it doesn't listen to anything. Sort of like a baby or a toddler, which is why I've got to ask, have you noticed that I'm coding all of this at the E7 Plus standing desk while standing for better health and to burn more calories? I've never had a sturdier desk than that. I had to make the light switch listen and move. So this is a Raspberry Pi Pico. It's a tiny little microcontroller computer. It can attach to my Wi-Fi and listen to signals from my big computer, which means it can listen to the brain. Then I performed surgery on a light switch. As a kid, I would flip the light switch halfway and listen to it spark. Don't do that. Wow, look at that. <laughs> the Raspberry Pi can control this servo motor. And this should rotate the servo motor. Ah, first try. First try! So that it can flip it from behind if I think about uh, flipping it. I feel like I can't move my lips or I'll mess something up. I don't know why I feel that way. <laughs> we'll call this making the light switch force sensitive. This is actually way more advanced than I expected, but I guess I'm not sure why I expected it to not be extremely advanced when it's like literal brainwave reading. While it was drying, I started to try and program the brainwave headset. This was very time consuming, so luckily when I got tired of feeding my errors into chat GPT, I could lower my E7 Plus with its unbeatable stability 
mobility and impressive weight capacity of, of up to 540 pounds. That's like three of me plus all of the diapers I'm gonna have to buy. I could then sit and comfortably do all of the pro, have ChatGPT do all of the programming. <laughs> The Python program will take the information from the Brainwave headset. It can send the signal over the network to the microcontroller that has the lever that flips the switch. Actually, the motor wasn't strong enough. Not strong enough? No. So I had to 3D print a new horn and then surgically remove the spring, compress it, and then put it back in. Wow, I cannot believe I actually got the spring back on there. And it's lighter. This whole time, though, I overlooked arguably the most important part, the, um sending out the force part. What does this all mean? I didn't even know how to get my brainwaves to do stuff. Right now I'm thinking and stuff, right? And so there's this line, which is essentially my focus level. I would try to relax my mind and I couldn't do it. It's like I couldn't calm down. I couldn't calm down my brainwaves. I thought that maybe the headset wasn't working. How do I stop thinking about things? Why did it go up? Like what did I do that caused it? How do I stop, th just stop? Thinking. I'm not gonna bait anybody either by using the accelerometer. The thing where you just move your head around, that's not how they do it in the force. I know that because my favorite TV show is The Acolyte. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't stinking work. You see, everything is set up to where if my alpha waves go up and stay there for a set threshold of time, the command is then sent to the Pico to flip the switch. But I had to know how to get my alpha waves to go up. I got a robot right there. I'm like gonna build a computer later. I gotta stop freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is calling? Hey, sweetie. What's up? I actually had to spend days mastering my thoughts. <laughs> I was an apprentice. And I could have just lied. Like, I can shake my head and it causes interference and that'll make it go up. Ooh, I'm just vibrating, man, because I'm focusing so hard. That could theoretically be mapped to it, but I'm not trying to do that. You can trust me, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Buy my crypto. I wanted my modification of my brain waves to flip the switch. I was an apprentice of the force, training my thoughts to modify certain brain waves. So I was, I was truly learning to use the force. Oh my goodness, that's nuts. I, I was becoming a master of my own thinking. All that was left to do was install it, but it was in the room where the Wi-Fi is, so it was either risk my life or not have internet. I'm just kidding, I flipped the breaker. So with full control over my brain waves, as a master of my thoughts, with the world around me prepared to bend to the will of my alpha wave signals, or rather, force signals, I tried to use the force one last time, but this time, finally, it was different. The door. What about the door? The door was dad shut, which means it's not actually latched and he pretended to not hear you as he walked away. So I couldn't actually use the force. Or could I? What if I actually, finally, figured it out? When they're laser focused in battle, other things move. I am a Jedi. When I was a kid, there was a period of time where I actually thought what I was thinking would be displayed on the back of my head. I thought my thoughts would be known by others. Kids think weirder things, okay? But it got me thinking. These brain waves. What if they are interacting with the environment in a way we just don't understand yet? Or even with other people. What if our brain waves are interacting in a way we just don't understand? And that's why sometimes unexplainable things happen, or why our subconscious feels things about people and we don't know why. So what if there is a force all around us? binding us together. And it's just a science we don't have quite figured out yet.
And so what if the things that you're thinking right now are more powerful than you could ever imagine? <laughs> That's the same face they make in the movie, right? But I still had one thing left to do. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for not only making this video possible, but also making it much more comfortable with the C7 Max ergonomic chair. Actually, the most comfortable chair I've ever had. Entirely adjustable backrest, adaptive lumbar support, 5D armrests, not even 4D chest, 5D chest. And dude, the footrest is insane. I'm a pretty big dude, and this chair, it handled it. So please check the links in the description for the E7 Plus desk or the C7 Max ergonomic chair. They've got Black Friday deals coming up, and if you buy the desk and chair combo, you get extra savings. Just by clicking the links, checking it out, you're supporting this channel. Thank you for watching. That's never not sick. <laughs>